Hello everyone, let's have a look at the accidental class variable shadowing that happens and you may not realize that it's happening until it's too late. So here you can see that I do have a class variable called species. This species variable is for a class called dog. So dogs might be of a species called wolf because you can get wolf dog species. And you can see here when you initialize the class, it has the following instance variables, a name and the age. So here, those are brought in when you create the class or initialize the class. The dog is able to speak and the dog is able to say hello. And it's its name as well. So you can see it says its name. And the other thing that you want to see is I create two copies. So this is dog one, this is dog two. First dog is called Rex, the next one is called Max. And you can see one is age two and the other one is age three. And then you can see that all I'm doing is for dog one, dog two, I'm just printing the species and the name. And then we get the output here of Rex is a wolf dog species, Max is a wolf dog species. So how do you end up accidentally overriding this wolf part, which actually is a class variable? So if I were to run this code, you can see that we get wolf foot. What happens when you do this? So when you do, let's do it for the dog one, which is Rex. Let's add species is equal to fox so we're going to change dog one to be of fox species what do you think will happen will both of them change or will one of them change so if i were to run this you can see rex has now changed to a fox species while max is still a wolf species so what's happening is behind the scenes python is creating an instance variable for species which is different to the species class variable and what happens is the execution order for this our selection order for this is it will always take the instance variable. So the instance variable for dog one is fox over here for the species. And that's the one it will use rather than this one. So essentially it will ignore that and instead use this one. Remember Python is dynamic object. So it will use this one that's been dynamically added on. So this attribute or property you may want to call has been added on and is overriding the default value. So that's why you can see for max is still print printing out wolf because for max we did not select an instant variable we did not create an instant variable so it will default to using the class variable but if we were so for example if i copy that line and paste it and this will be dog2 and change it to fox you can now see both are foxes and that's how you end up accidentally shadowing the class variable over here by using the instance variable over here